first time to be on my bed together. They've been on my son's bed together, says Chloe, eight years old. He's a lot better with the little one now. When we had Coda, and he was older, and Chloe was 10 weeks old, it took them six months to get on. And it's only been a few days with these two. I am surprised. Little one's gone to sleep, as you can see. Sleepy head can do anything with her. She's totally, totally crashed. Isn't she? Chloe. Oh, be some, be some peace and quiet. She is so tiny. My hand is small, but her head is, is, is smaller than my hand. She is so tiny. She's so well trained. She's litter trained. She's, she's lovely, but she can't go out for four months. She is a very fast runner. She's faster than her when she was little. You open the door and she's already there before you. You pick her up, she does bite you because she's teething quite a bit. But uh, after a while she likes to have a cuddle. And she purrs lovely. She has a different purr than uh, this little one over here. Yeah, you can see she's totally crashed now. So even in peace to sleep. Totally out of it. She's about 10 weeks old now. And Chloe here has turned eight. So we're signing off for the day, aren't we, Chloe? Chloe? And all the skin that came from under here, she pulled out. It's all healing lovely now. So. Cat heaven today. It's nice to see them getting on quite well, actually. And it hasn't been that long. So I'm going to make sure this little one doesn't go out for four months now. So I'm very careful when people come to the house. So this is little Coco. Crash.
Coco. 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 Ready? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Coco. Coco. This step. Coco. Hey. Coco. Ready? Coco. Hang on. I haven't done it yet yet. Get down. Get down. Right, you ready? Coco. Coco. Get ready. Oh, never mind. Ready? That wasn't a good one, was it? You ready? Ready? Coco. Ready? Yay! Coco, where's your ball? Coco, where's your ball? Well done. Well done. Good girl. This is a good girl. High five. Thank you. <laughs> We're getting the hang of this now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm not going out though. It's raining. Well, I am. Bye. <laughs> Training my cat Coco, who's half Maine Coon and half Bengal, and now one year old, to do high five. She wants to do that to get outside the window and I refuse. And I'm listening to 1950s music. 
it's great bye have a good day oops <laughs> sorry this says <laughs> sorry this says <laughs> bye cool cool put your head down better and go to sleep so good girl well done, Coco. My other cat, Chloe, she's 10 years old. She's on my YouTube channel. She does that when I tell her. My other cat, Coda, who passed away six years ago. He did that when I told him as well. And now Coco is learning. Your mum says, put your head down and go to sleep. Night. Okay, what are you up to? Are you showing off? Yeah? Look at me. Chloe, look at me. Chloe. Go, go, go. Go to sleep then. Can I go to sleep? Yeah, you tired? Go to sleep then. Go to sleep then. Go, go, go. Go to sleep then. Night. You're a tired girl, you've been there all day. Go to sleep then. Go to sleep then. Go to sleep. Go, are you going to go to sleep? Look at me then. Off you go. Go to sleep. Go lay down, Chloe. Go to sleep. Gonna lie down properly. Go lie down properly then, go to sleep. Good night, Chloe. Good night, Chloe, go to sleep. Chloe, lie down properly. Put your head down. Put your head down, go. Put your head down. Put your head down properly, go sleep. Good night then. Put your head back down. Go to sleep. Put your head down. Go to sleep. Head back down. Put your head back down. Put your head back down. Okay. You can go to sleep now. <laughs> Night down, Chloe. Night, night.
She's been doing this since she was nine weeks old. Yeah, she does bite, she does hurt, but she's a little, uh, little angel, really. Yeah, she's only nine months now, so. Mm. Anyway, that's Coco this morning. Crashed. Cloak. Cloak. Okay. I'll leave us. <laughs> so I don't want to move with you. No. Alright.
this one. 